all right guys so welcome back to the channel so we are going to be jumping back on the honda we're going to try to get the radiator out cleaned out thermostat and try to get a belt and see if we can make this thing cool itself see if we can run it a little bit longer top hose is off this thing's all chewed up that's not any good same thing with the radiator look at that there's all kinds of rust and a bunch of rust in there That's that wire. This one too, this is connected. Oh, the electric fan on. Why is it stuck? I don't know. It shouldn't be. That's it. You got it hooked on something. Right. Oh, that thing's hooked on to the ground. Look at the ground. It's like using it as a as a thing right there. I'm just undo that. We're going to check to see if the original fan works. Just because. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good. Need some oil. <laughs> and then we got the reader obviously taken out this bottom piece here is just toast just completely rusted away this side piece over here which side is it it's this side this side is coming off this has got a hole in it all right so we're gonna try to start the engine again we're gonna hope it starts should start but we got the hose hooked up and we're gonna we got a new uh water pump belt and we're gonna we try to circulate the water through the clean out the motor see what happens i don't know how high do you want just barely okay that's too much turn it down right there's good Okay, ready to give it some gas? Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm hoping that the water goes in there. It's gonna be a second. kinds of stuff hit me in the face over here the pump was turning and everything yeah everything's turning did any junk come out of there or not really not really 
go the other way now. Let's see. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of air coming out of that thing. No, that's loud. It just needs that to be car, a, that little carburetor is loud. It needs to be adjusted or something, or maybe we still got to work on it. Little cycling through. I mean, it's just it was just doing like that. It's not like gushing out. No. You want to run it again or no? I don't know. Go ahead. I'm surprised it didn't idle. It just shut off. Well, because we got the air cleaner on it now. And that thing's not open. The throttle, the pl the throttle bodies are just because we'd have to uh, adjust it. Adjust it. Go ahead. You ready? Out of gas already. That's it. Yeah, I mean it's just about out. It needs. We just, it, it it'll it'll power room a little bit better once we get the timing all adjusted. Right now, it's not adjusted correctly yet. Still, it's like it's retarded or something. That's good enough, I think. Huh? Okay, turn off the hose. All right, so we're coming out here to look for <clears throat> a thermostat housing. We want to see how the radiator in this other car is. Because we have uh, two more Hondas back here. And one of them, the engine is just like complete junk at the moment. So we have this Honda back here. And we have that Honda. East. <laughs> no good. Look at the water neck. It's got the red bolts. Yeah. That one probably worked better. That one's in better shape than what we have. And don't know about the radiator, but. Oh, <clears throat> what is that? That's that bolt that goes to this, this thing. Crusty. We'll clean it out. Maybe we can hook, you know. Alright, pick that off. Yep. Yeah. 
shape on them. Yeah, they look good. Does that one have a drum set? Yes, it does. Let's take all the cards put together. The orange one didn't have a thermostat in it. This one does. That's cool. What is it? It doesn't say on it what it is. The housing almost looks new. Yeah. But this one has the gasket. This one has silicone. Was that a gasket on that one? They just siliconed it on, huh? Looks like there's an O-ring. Isn't that O-ring right there? Uh-oh, I don't think so. Yeah, that looks like O-ring. If it looks like it... Oh, you know what? Maybe you're... Maybe. It says something on here too. Where'd it go? Right here. Eighty-two. That's weird. All right, we'll get it cleaned up. <clears throat> Let them make the paper. Somebody stripped his bolt and it's in there bent. I wonder if I could turn on the screen. I think you're supposed to take the bumper off, dude. <laughs> This is where all the damage is right here. Look at that. Rusted through there right there. This piece is all bent. It's got a tear in it right there. Actually, not bad. It's not terrible. No, it's fixable right here. This is bent in. This bumper's got to come off. See, this is bent in right here.
we want to try to straighten out this front end a little bit. Yeah, it's all bent here. This is this is bent. This area here is kind of bent. Down here, kind of bent. And that's making it so the hood doesn't close right, the fender doesn't line up right. A uh, little bit of kinking right here. Not so bad. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. We're going to try and hammer and dolly a lot of this stuff and pull that out ourselves. As you can see, just how this is all chewed up here, and if you come over the other side, this is a lot nicer over here on this side. I think that was ripped off. That's not rust. That's like where the metal was there, and somebody just ripped it off. And then they bubble gum welded it together. We're going to possibly unweld it and reweld it and fix it. We'll see. I don't know, maybe even cut this out, straighten it up, put it back together again. It'll make it look better than that. This is all wrong right here. That, those tabs need to be straightened out like it is here. That's folded in. Well, that's wrong. I'm going to have to cut that, straighten that out, and stretch it. It's all bent right here. That's why that's like that. Because whoever fixed it didn't know what they were doing. The radiators just turned out. We got another one from one of the cars in the backyard. And both of them, this is the one from the automatic car. And on the bottom here, hold it. See. On the bottom here, you can see it's, it's broken, just completely rotted, rotted out right there. We think it's fixable, but then we got this radiator, which is the one that came out of the came car. Came out of this car, and that's that's all rotted yeah, out. That's rotted out. And too. the radiator needs to be probably rotted out. So that's what kind of stopped us. We got to look into that. So stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on the bell. Don't forget to share the video. And I will leave the link in the description for last week's video. Thanks for watching.